I was like, well, hello, there's something new. Uh, someone new. Well, <laughs> hey, Craig. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're still gonna wait a few more a minutes. Hmm? Uh, we should, oh, sh we should, should send it? a message. To thank everyone. Where was it? Yeah, should should I do another shout out that it started? Uh, you, we did it in in the server. I think we should. I did in a general chat. Mm. I mean, we should tell, like, remind people in this server oh you mean like in in the the council oh yeah like that not like this she just sent the message here so i think we can also do that too so i was trying to make it to eat before class, but I didn't make it. Oh no. That's okay. But well, you can maybe take a snack right now. We can wait. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, guys. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hey, Miguel. Hello, Simply Javon. I hope I said that right. If someone doesn't feel comfortable talking, that is totally okay. You guys can just write in a chat. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Well. I'm glad to hear. Welcome, everybody. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Hello. Hi, Phoebe. How are you guys doing? Pretty new We're profile picture. Good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Just hungry. Me too. <laughs> Should get some food after the class. Yeah, I was trying to get some before, but I didn't make it. You're, but it's okay. I'm just making. I'm just making spaghetti right now. Ooh, I <laughs> I'm, want I'm just noodles. I'm just gonna ask you guys questions so y'all can talk, and then in between, I'll be just shoving my face with my rice that I made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a few more minutes. So what's new? Tell me, guys, something. Welcome. Greetings. Almost forgot. Why did that sound like a radio moderator? Like, no, how, how do you call it? <laughs> is, is that what you call it in English? I'm going to say this, right? Radio. One day, I'm just going to go ahead and make my little YouTube channel. And I'm going to start because everybody keeps saying, oh, man, hey, man, your voice, man. Oh, my goodness. Can you do the EA Sports? It's in a game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to do that all the every time we played our little game. Let's it was a ritual. It. As soon as the, the logo Let's... came, I was like, EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> yes, I love That's it. That's nostalgic. I we used to always do that crap. <laughs> like all together in unison. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh yeah. Or like at these fairs, do they do the same thing when you're like on rides and they have this specific way of saying things? Because that's exactly what they how they sound here in Germany. I think so. Well, the ones that feel like getting in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is do they just all sound the same? I'm like, how do you pass this on to the next generation? talking like in this way when the ride they're like oh yeah let's get it and something i i can't even do it that was a horrible try yeah, i, I apologize <laughs> oh wait are, am i interrupting something because i do see you recording 
No, we're just still waiting on a few more people to join the class. Cool. But yeah, I just got this voice by the uh, self-loathing. I mean, well, not loathing, but you know, <laughs> like just kind of falling in love with my vibrational tone. Because I'm, I meditate, so like I do mantras and stuff, but I don't feel like memorizing and chanting all the mantras. So like if I could just make some stuff up, you know. And then I was like, okay, what am I willing to say every day that I just casually do anyways? And then I just kind of started doing that. So you can change your voice, basically. Well, well I just make it deeper I mean, because I already have a deep voice. So yeah. Okay. Deep and so, mysterious. Or no stripes. <laughs> yes. I, I, well, I'm not sure if people can, like, if German people can say squirrel, I can. But I also have to add that I used to live in the States for four years, so. Oh, you probably saw a lot of squirrels. I love, like, it's so funny he says squirrels because it's my favorite animal. They're so cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, childlike. <clears throat> no, they're just cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will not question your experience. It's okay, I forgive you. hee, <laughs> hee. <laughs> all right you guys welcome i'm just gonna start whoever joins joins so this is i think a fourth monthly exchange on shield and i see so many new people and i'm excited you guys are here and the last times we were all talking well the very first um class um i was describing a little bit how i create my shield and how like from my like let's say friends around me how they do theirs that there are so many different varieties and you literally have to find a way for your own self what feels right and again then i give everybody some homework for the next event and ask them to just experiment with them a little bit and see what feels right and we really had some really beautiful and cool new ways of creating shields and um, we also exchanged on what difference it made all of a sudden and I usually like I always say I don't want to make this a monologue this is just supposed to be more like of an exchange and even like questions if there are any and somehow it turns it still turns out <laughs> to be me talking a little more and this time, I don't want to do that. So I think I'm just going to give it up right away to you guys. If somebody would like to share experiences, I know Broly is really incredible on Shields. And so is Ange. And they have been with me so far every event. And maybe you guys can share something. It would be great. Does somebody just leave already? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It's okay. I thought Ange and Broly were like, oh, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Never. I'm just joking. I know. So, would you guys like to share with us how you guys create your shields? And please? Do you want to go first or? <laughs> Okay. I mean, <laughs> I think, uh, uh, well, I'm not pretty, uh, the last time we had a class like this, I think it was like, it was last month. So, um, I guess a lot of people is not coming this time because, um, it's the holiday weekend in the, in the U S. Oh yeah, that's but, right. That's right. People are shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah getting those deals so mm -hmm. yeah black friday um but basically um what i've learned from rena is that you know you can pretty much design your shields any way that she would uh want to imagine like it can be in any type of form it could look any type of way you would like uh you can also use elements to help your shields um, I think that's, that's really good too, because I, I use the element of fire for mine. Um, and it's, it's pretty effective. Um, 
I'm not too sure. Do you do you do the same thing, Ange, with yours? Um, so I do two different ways. Um, I do two different ways because I my thing is I like to imagine my shield as like angel wings just like cross over me as a shield like that. But I usually do that mm -hmm. in the morning and sometimes I forget. So if I forget, then I imagine like this white gold fire around me as I'm leaving the house as my like, I guess, secondary shield if I forget. But I like to use my angel wings as a shield. So mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is just so cool. beautiful. Yeah, the first mm -hmm. time. And you shared this, I was like, wow, that's incredible. Like, I never even thought yeah. of anything like that. And that's what I meant, like, in the very beginning. It's um, it's all up to you guys what feels the most natural. And once you start, it might be hard in the beginning. It might be hard to even envision this shield, but I usually I just close my eyes. And, and for me, I imagine this bubble around me. It's like a little soap bubble you know it guys like it's like so colorful around me and then i clear the space inside of it and then i try filling it with love and white light and i have to say you even like know when it's completely filled because like after a while you can just feel it like no i have to just project a little bit more of that light out and mm -hmm. you can also do layers. If you do layers, obviously this shield will get stronger. And I do that almost every night. When I like right before I go to sleep, I lay down in bed and then it's like I I made it a routine so I can't even I don't even forget it anymore. Like in the beginning, for example. And I've mm -hmm. noticed it makes a huge difference. Um like going through the next day well some people do their shields in the evenings some in the mornings i just do it in the evenings as i mean i still have plenty more to tell you guys but i would also like to hear some of the others first does anyone who would like to share their way of making a shield uh, i got it like to of course, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, someone mentioned fire. So the most effective I found was white fire, like white flames, because I know the color white is very effective for, for some reason, because I've used all kinds of fancy techniques. And sometimes the threat gets like stronger and they don't always work. But the white light, something about that white light, if you can just coat everything visually, it just, it just seems to work for me. Then my second approach, which is just like my media go to, if I don't use any visualization is to just meditate into a state of transcendence where you're one with your entire environment and then just like white cell, uh, white blood cells to the body. In this case, like probably white blood cells to your spiritual body. They kind of come to your aid and either have you distance yourself from people. You'll see people get out of your way or so sometimes a conversation might be cut short or like you just barely missed a car, you know, that kind of thing. So then it's like you're communicating with that uh, very mindset that you are always protected because nature does not necessarily harm itself you know consciously yes exactly because there's this there's only one law in the universe and which is free will so if you decide that then no one should be able to touch you it's just very important to clear energies from from anything that may have been some kind of attack like sometimes when i feel like i'm feeling a little low and because i have a job that's like it has to do with social work with people who are um that in a good phase of their life so you can imagine that there are a lot of heavy energies and low vibrational energies that sometimes come to my office so sometimes i literally have to clear the energy and i say something like any low vibrational energies that are being sent my way i reflect them and return them back to the sender and this is what i use sometimes 
while I'm making my shield and imagining it. And um, it really works incredibly. Yes, affirmations for sure. Yes. Affirmations, declarations, proclamations. Absolutely. Yeah, and I've noticed too. Oh, were you gonna say something, Rena? No, no, go ahead. I was. I noticed too. Like whenever I do do my shields in the morning, like it really does make that difference because I work in like a like a high paced stressful air like area. Like I I work in a kitchen, and you know that's stressful. And sometimes like the little things like really get to me. So if I have my shield up, those little things don't bother me as much. But on days that I really do forget my shield is when like all the things just suddenly bother me. So it really, it really does make a difference, guys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And especially like since we're here in the server and we're all getting together, the star seeds finding each other, we have to be aware of our surroundings and there will be attacks and they have been happening and they are happening at all times. That's why we have to be very conscious when it comes to our shields. We have mm -hmm. to work on them because there will be coming more and more. That's why we have to like start working on them because the longer you work on them, the stronger they get. Rena, um, Rena, yes. have you ever talked about the portals in your phone? Like when you're watching certain videos, like, or, um, you know, sometimes it's good to close the portal in your phone so that way, or like make a shield around your phone. Um, no, go ahead. Tell us about it. We haven't gotten to that part yet, but you can share. Oh, <laughs> oh I was going <laughs> to let you share about it, but, um. Yeah, I, um, I like to close the portal in my phone because um, your phone screen is a portal. And so, you know, certain energies from your phone can be leaking onto you. And so I just like to close mine. But, yeah. The black yeah. mirror. Yeah, basically any shiny surfaces could be portals. So you ha you also have to be aware of them. Because there's still ways how the dark entities could come through your portal. And Macklin, you were actually the one to tell me how to close them. Would you tell us, please? Oh, um... <laughs> you put me on the spot. Okay. I'll, I, I, I can do it. Um, it's okay. I yeah, can do it too if you like. It's yeah, okay. I've been smoking all morning. <laughs> yeah, Not, yeah, I'm with you. I'm just like. <laughs> okay. Well, because I wasn't uh, like uh, a while back, I, I was doing my shields and stuff like that. And then, uh, Macklin, you told me about these portals, and I was like, oh shit, that's right. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure most of us walked, uh, watched Doctor Strange, right? The second one, where she literally was able to come through any shiny surface, and it just made so much sense. So, you gotta go... Like, the problem, for example, in my house is literally every room has some kind of shiny surface because my furniture is glossy. So, I'm like, oh shit, all right. <laughs> So you could just close all the portals of one room at the time. But to be honest, I was too lazy. I just closed them and they like I just said the entire house, all portals will be closed. No one can enter. Oh, really? <laughs> Nobody oh can enter. God. Close all of them. You just said something. Oh my god, that kind of worries me now. <laughs> Why? So in my kitchen, I work they they just remodeled a certain part of our kitchen that I work in and all of the walls are metal shiny now. They're reflective. I'm like, oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be gotta I'm gonna them. be a big guard for that. <laughs> yeah, that's why you can you can close them. Yeah. So I just literally closed them all except for one. And I set specific rules who can come through my portal and who is not allowed to. So that is also very important. When you build your shield or closing your portals, I usually say something like, no um, 
no low vibrational beings are around anywhere inside my house or in my shield or anywhere near my shield. I'm like only high vibrational beings are allowed to be here, like are allowed to enter to give me messages, downloads and communicate with me. And those high vibrational beings have to serve my highest good. Like, literally, like, my angels, my guides, and maybe other people guides. Okay, so I remember what I told you originally. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> now it took me a few minutes to, like, remember what I told you. I was like, what did I tell you? I was like, <laughs> but I remember it's, okay. it's like, that we have to program our portals and our shields like we program our crystals. And so, so by simply setting the intention, you're speaking energy into, like, action. And so, um, you create with intention in the astral, and so you can, you know, just simply set the intention. So these, um, your portal, like, you want to set the certain beings to come in. I like to make sure mine are, like, 5D or above, um, some ancestors that support my highest good, and, um, any, any being above 5D that supports my highest good can come in. Um, it, I set my shield to keep out all low vibrational energy. Um, I only have one portal in my room and I, I stack my shields. I find, I used to only do one shield about like two years ago when I first started working for the GFL. But, um, uh, over time I realized that the one wasn't like like up to par it was like it could be better and so i have multiple shields now and i have guards at for the set to each shield so if a being gets past it then or gets in it somehow um the guard knows what to do with it and you can uh, ask your guides to guard your portals and things for you they'll assist you in that way or you can ask um like an angel or you know yeah, that would be my answer. next topic. The guards. That we can also create guards outside. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, like, when I create my shield, I create it around my house. And I create it right away around myself as well. Because that's what I kept forgetting in the beginning. I kept doing a shield around my house. Because my house has to be a safe space for me. But I never did one around me. And I noticed, I'm like, what is going on? I don't understand. Why do I still feel like when I'm outside, like I'm letting these energies affect me so much. And then eventually I realized, shit, I got to create these shields around myself too. And that's like, just like Ange said, it made such, it made such a huge difference. I, I can't even describe it. But for, uh, for those of you who have been experimenting with it and have been working on your shields i'm sure you already um, know too like you know about the difference that it makes and yeah. speak speaking of the guards so this is the way i do it i usually envision well now i increase the number of my guards i used to have two to the left and to the right of my house now i have four on all sides and I imagine and I picture them in my head and then infuse them literally with my white light and give them a consciousness in a way. I make them conscious where I can speak to them. And I always thank them for what they're doing. And I always tell them that I love them. And um, yeah, it's been like, like my shields are very strong. And I'm really happy about this. That's why I really want to share and make you guys aware of how important it is, especially now at this time, to work on your guys' shields. Mm -hmm. We have some new people who joined. Hey, Zach. Hey, Ski. Hey. And hey. Gina. <laughs> I so, know. Yeah, um, I'm. Sh oh, go ahead, Macklin. Oh, sorry. It was me, but it's okay. Oh, you so, can talk. hey, Phoebe, you can go ahead. Hi. No, I'd love for you guys to share. Okay. Um, I was just going to, like, add on to the point that you said about the shields around the home. And 
um, I started doing that like this year and it's really helped like imagine in like a color and representation of like what I want the shield to do. And also when I visualize the details of what the shield looks like, it's stronger, I notice. So um, when you talked about like the shield for the house, I would love to hear if you have any more like advice on like how we can make it stronger or like any like information we could know about like shield in your whole place, not just like yourself. Yeah, so I envisioned this whole bubble around my house. And sometimes, well, most of the time, I add layers to it. Oh. I add multiple layers to it. I, I see my little bubble and then from the inside, I'm going to try to describe it, but it's so hard to describe this in words. But it's almost like, like all of my energy to my shield and the clearing energy for inside my shield, it all comes from my heart. I literally feel like the energy is coming out of my heart or I send it out of my heart. And then it almost like looks like a cartoon where it literally like pops out like the multiple layers. Sometimes I can go like boom, 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 like, like multiple <laughs> layers of it until yeah. I feel it's be it being really thick. Strong, yeah. And I have also um, friends who, for example, do just like you said, see, like the different colors and they use like yeah. a, a silver layer, a gold layer, a platinum layer shield. Yeah. And that's how they create multiples. Yeah, I'm going to definitely try the silver and the platinum because I always do like the basic colors like um, of the chakras, like green. And I do a lot of blue for protection because I just really resonate with that color for protection. But I'm going to try the multiple layers because then it's going to make it stronger. And then I don't have to do it like every other, like every week, you know, it would last a while. Yes, Thank absolutely. So Good advice. <laughs> of course. And another thing that I like, once the energy of the inside of my shield is cleared, I literally like see and feel how I fuel even more energy into it until my shield, like the outside of my shield yeah. is glowing. It's literally glowing of white light. Yeah. And though yeah. that, that white light are always uh, like a something like <sighs> little spikes, almost like sun rays, but little spikes oh. where any dark beings cannot enter because of these spikes of light that's interesting that you said spikes because when i did my shield the strongest shield that i've ever done i added like these iron they were like iron spikes i, I, I wouldn't call them spikes i would call them like maybe like iron thorns um yeah. and i added them like everywhere like you know how like the military um like bases have like these um protective wires yeah. like around i forget what they're called but i think you know what i'm talking about so oh, i added like that wire yeah, yeah barbed barbed wire. wires yeah so i added like um that like over the shield and you said like um spikes and i'm thinking light spikes would actually be way more powerful so i'm definitely gonna do that oh well i'm glad to hear that it helped you guys and okay let's go to the next level so this is what I have been doing for, I think, about three, four months until I, I don't know who I spoke to, but we were talking about cloaking and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> what if I try to cloak my shield and my home? Wait, I think it was me. I think yeah. Because I was telling you Possibly. about uh, what I did with this, like, these um so I, it was like this little mini gfl assignment because something happened and like so that what was happening was that um the archon figured out that they could no longer get through my shields and so they tried to attack people like that they knew like that would it would bother me to get a reaction and lower my vibration up <sighs> that's right and mm -hmm. so what i did is I knew this was happening and I kept seeing it happening and I was like, okay, what can I do then? Cause I can't let them see that it's, I have a reaction at all because they can't see into my shield. So they can't see me. So they don't know that. But I was like, okay, so what can I do? And so what I did is I, I, uh, sent 
two astral guards of mine and I and you broke them with a shield. And I set yeah. the into the shield that you can just see through it. There's nothing no mat no it, like you can't see nothing in inside of it. Like it was never there. And I sent these guards to the people and then like the results were really good. Uh they stopped bothering me after that because I guess they figured that I didn't care or something. But really I was protecting the people. <laughs> yeah yeah that's right that was the conversation we had and then i was like "Ooh, maybe i should try cloaking my shield like my entire house and then i started practicing that i started envisioning how like once my shield is set like fully set like i described it just now i was like okay and now i literally just said and now cloak and i could see it in my head as if it disappeared in like a little cloud <laughs> <laughs> like a little steam cloud and I envision like no low vibrational beings can even feel anything everything is absolutely cloaked it's absolute stillness there's no energy trace of me there's ab like no not even um, any um, audio like th they cannot hear me they cannot see it to them all they see is a dead area and once I started experimenting with the cloaking and I've done it um, a few times, I act because like I told you guys in the beginning, I used I do it every evening. But once I started cloaking, like the following day I went to bed, I'm like, all right, time to um, reinforce my shield again. And I could feel that literally nothing was damaged. I didn't have to do anything at all because they just couldn't see me. And here's the thing about the archons there i don't want to sound rude or mean but Same. they're sometimes not the brightest <laughs> so sometimes like i can i can envision them literally like f flying by a home and they see this ball of light they're like "Ooh, somebody high vibrational in there let me see <laughs> And because of the cloaking, they literally, f like, I, they, they can't. It, it's just not working. And now I do it, like, once a week, maybe. But I still check on it every single day, though, to see if it needs a little bit fixing. Yeah. Yeah, I usually connect with, like, shields on a daily basis. Nice. Tell us about it, Zach. Um, yeah, I mean, you can... I like to usually just visualize and kind of, like, command it out. Just saying, like, there's... I usually say, like, there's a platinum gold... Um, platinum gold bubble of light surrounding me. And then I would like to like fill it up with light sometimes, uh, because that's very effective for like cleansing the inside, cleansing the energies, and cleansing my energy bodies and everything. Um, and also just working with my aura, and like charging my aura up with like more platinum and or gold light or rainbow light also works really well and is really good for your chakras and things, balancing. Um, yeah. And I notice the more, as I work with my aura more, it starts to, like, develop. It's like it develops and gets bigger, and it's like it evolved over time. It's evolving. <clears throat> I love that. Yeah, I highly recommend that. And you can work with your aura in different ways. Um, and just kind of like imagine your aura and start working with it. So working with your like your toroidal field, which is like the, it's like your aura, and it's you might have seen pictures of it. It's where there's like energy coming up through the through your center channel, and then it goes down the sides and it like circulates like that. And it also comes in and circulates the opposite way, but... Oh, 
Like, do you like? Do you mean like? Does it look almost like hoops circling around you? Yeah, kind of, basically. Oh. Here, I'll, I'll get a picture of it. But, um, but working with it, it, it can your aura, my aura, it are, like becomes like a shield. Um, yes, I like that, Zach, because. <laughs> what I do is I just feel my aura and I fill it with like as much light energy as I can. And that becomes my shield uh, around my bottom, around my person. And then like, I have a shield around my room, a shield around my house. It's okay. This <laughs> sounds paranoid, but I just really love my shields. So then I have another one around <laughs> my gate. <laughs> so, ain't nobody getting it. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. <laughs> no one. Yeah. So, like, for those of you who are, like, who haven't tried it yet or tried a little bit, I can understand in the beginning it can feel really hard to even envision that shield. But I guarantee you, if you do it, like, by the third or fourth time, you'll be able to see it so much clearer. And the clearer you see it, the stronger it starts getting. So it's just literally how Cash always says, it's just like a muscle that you got to train. And the yeah. more you do it, the easier it will get eventually. Yeah. Sometimes the beginners too, you guys could use like crystals to help you to like protective crystals as a kind of like as a shield too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, have, I yes. have my August bracelet that I'm wearing all yeah. the time. Yeah, I got and like right when I wear oh. it with my personal shield on my body, so with my aura, mm -hmm. I if I do uh, wear amethyst, which I haven't been, but when I did, I would program my amethyst to help my shield and my aura around my body to protect. So it's like you can program crystals on your aura and you on your shields, and you can also program them for your portals to make your portal stronger and last longer along with a portal guard. So like... The crystals, they help energize the shield. And so, like, I have a really big wall quartz that helps power and keep light into my portal. And then um, I have a rose quartz for love energy and just this um, beautiful energy that I just really like my portal to have. And then I have an obsidian and amethyst that I also put on my portal. So I load my portal down with, like, crystals. But um, they all have a purpose for it. And so that's what I do with my portal. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there uh, is. Should I? Mm -hmm. Go sorry. ahead. No, no, go ahead, Miguel. Should I tell how I make my shield? Of course. Yeah, we would love to hear. Yeah. So usually um, I take, I close my eyes and do 25 breaths. And then I imagine, then I say to myself that I am love, I am love, I am light, and no negative beings can harm me, and so on. And then I imagine, like, like a bubble around me. And then I just imagine, like, it's going to sound weird, but, like, someone hugging me, I guess. And... Mm -hmm. Then I just open my eyes, and that's how I do it. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Nice. Yes, I like it. Yeah. It's cute. Kind of reminds me of the Egyptian <laughs> god of Mut, uh, god of the sky, because she like, like she puts her whole body over the the, the earth. You know, at, le at least how they depict her. It's like her whole body is covering the earth, in the, in the uh, sense of like protecting it and all the inhabitants. Mm -hmm. Oh, like that. Mm. Oh, I never heard of her, but I have to say I'm not so much into <laughs> the gods yet. I'm just starting <laughs> to read up on everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's great. I've 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 um I've had contact with her before. She's pretty nice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Wow, <laughs> Robbie, that artwork. I love that. Yeah. You can tell us a little bit. My soul. <laughs> yeah, tell us. 
<laughs> no, I just, uh, I mean, I, I have been looking that kind of art pictures a lot lately. I feel really called to stuff like that. I mean, I feel like my soul is literally like looking like that. <laughs> you know, like my tall gray version too. I mean, with my shields, I always activate with my heart chakra too. Kind of similar what Rina speak of. But I see my energy more like a like a holy laser. <laughs> like a holy light. But it's kind of like a laser. I mean, it, it literally like burns without a fire. The negative energies, I mean, when I open my shields and energy. So when somebody Does puts a sense? finger to it, it cuts it off, right? Like, yeah. zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it protect, it attack. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, you guys, I love these exchanges. I'm telling y'all because I learned so much and I feel like like this helps so many other people because sometimes to one person this this bubble may be not resonant and but something else may be like for example and angel wings and stuff like that there are so many different ways like i know another person they imagine or they envision their shields as like a tight bodysuit for example or now recently i heard something new again i was like "Ooh, that's so interesting it was my friend she told me that what she sees when she creates her shield it looks like a this do you guys remember from like the 90s i know some of y'all are born in the 90s sorry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sure you guys i'm sure you guys will know what it is um like this little plasma ball you know mm -hmm. where like when it's it's like a ball oh. but when you put your hand it's little, on it and it's yeah oh, I love those. And, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, the lightning comes to your hands yeah like and, mm -hmm. and that's what well, yeah she, that's what she envisions uh when she creates her shield I was like whoa that's a totally new that's way so nice I've done that a few <laughs> times but it was too complicated for me <laughs> how was it too complicated <laughs> what made it so complicated I'm a very detailed oriented person <laughs> So like if I if I try to envision like envision lightning, I'll try to get every single bolt because that because I know detail helps it amplify the power, and because I'm a, a perfectionist, uh, I can't help it. So yeah, <laughs> and I'm an artist. And so, so how many you know. how many lightnings were you envisioning? Well, not that I'm a, I was counting none, but like as I just added them, I just became like kind of like static shock, you know. And then it was funny because ah. I remember that day, like, I, I think I summoned a freaking small rain cloud that lasted for five minutes. Ooh. Yeah. So maybe so we we was. shouldn't experiment with that. Yeah, that's why I didn't really do much. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you okay. can kind of throw the nature out of balance. Yeah. Oh, but so. I, I thought of another way that could help okay. people with shields um so imagining a ball of energy in your hands and like putting a ball of energy in your hands and then imagining that like like changing the scale the scales of the situation i don't know it's hard to explain but try to um imagine yourself inside of that ball does does okay. that make sense yes yeah mm -hmm. I make something similar to sometimes I like open my hands, make like a ball. Then I slowly open my arms, make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Then I like push it out of me. Then it gets bigger in waves, like coming from my center. And I like to use my hands to do energy work too. Energy bending, I call it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. And energy I do energy bending. bending. <laughs> yeah, energy bending. The last yeah. energy bender. <laughs> I'm not the last. We are all energy oh, benders. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a nice But it's, it's a really cool way to describe it. Because, like, I mean, I can literally see it. Right? I can push yeah. it with my hands, like, my energy.
Okay, I, I'm coming to my last point. Unless somebody wants to share, I'd love to hear some more. I forgot. Key, where are you? I know you have Ooh. some st stories to tell. If Ski doesn't have something to say, then I'll, I have another thing I can say. Oh, yes. Share. <clears throat> He's probably um, doing breath Merkaba? work again. Aha. Uh -huh. the, the Merkaba is a really a powerful way to assist with astral travel and different things. Um, but also with protection. But the Merkaba is based, it's two counter rotating tetrahedrons. Um, it kind of looks like a three-dimensional Star of David, <clears throat> or like a three-dimensional Jewish star. It's the same the same star. They use the Star of David in a lot of different things, but, um, but yeah. And so you can kind of imagine that um, the the triangle that's facing upwards uh, stands for masculine, I believe, or at least that's part of it. And then the one that's facing downwards is feminine. And yeah, I notice I can just kind of like visualize them um, and make them spin a little bit also. And that'll like really, I feel like it helps to cleanse my field and protects me and raises my vibration and different things. It's a uh, interesting, interesting thing. And it also like builds up this mental, I feel like it strengthens your mind and like building up your mental capacities to like focus and to like, and your visualization skills, like visualizing these two triangles that are spinning in opposite directions and everything. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I guess I have one more dealing with crystals. Okay, Sherrod. Because it was like convenient since I was already wearing them. So I just took like the idea of my copper covered uh, obsidian and then I just enlarged it to like this refined crystal, you know, obelisk looking thing with, you know, just more copper. And I just like kind of duplicated it and then I would just have them like spin and rotate all around me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like that. Kind of yeah. like what you would see in an RPG when you get like a, you, you know, when you like put like a boon on you or like, you know, like when you put a shield on you in RPG and then you see the effects of the shield. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Like when that. you started telling us about this, I saw like enlarging it to a point where you in the middle of its energy. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then also the flames, of course, just, um, you know, like visualizing the flames, you can just like visualize or feel, manifest the fires or flames, however, you know, whatever way works for you, but it could just be normal fire, you could do purple fire, you could do, um, you know, what we call heavenly fire, which is like a white fire. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a, a like a fire of source energy is the best way to I describe it, I think. Or like a really uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what's your question? Can like can music help with shields? Like make it more yes. powerful. I love because I've been doing that. Oh yes. Yeah. Especially if it gets you in that kind of mood, like where you know if it if it uplifts uh, uplifts you, especially like me, I like to listen like neo soul because it puts me in a, a immediate uplifting mood, and then you know whatever I'm doing already, it just amplifies. Right. Hmm. Okay. Just. I thought that was kind of weird of me doing that. No, life is music, vibration, sound. Yeah. No, it's nothing weird about that because. Yeah. 
I was just thinking, um, guys, just make sure that you always set the intentions for your shield. Like you have to be clear and on who is allowed inside your shields and who isn't. That is also one important part because you can do your shield, but if you don't set the intentions who is not allowed anywhere near you or close to you, then they won't be as strong. Remember, there's always like the, the, the law of the free will. So if you tell them no low vibrational energies are allowed, then they can't. They can't get to you. It's like I always, <laughs> I always describe it like I'm sure you guys watched uh, Aladdin or any movies with a genie in it where you have to be very, very clear on your wish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else would like? Hmm? I was just saying, maybe that's why I'm detailed oriented, because I started to realize my laziness was a, a main cause of why some of my shields were like lopsided. Yeah. It, um, Like when. Uh, it's really important to also be precise with like your guards and like if you have a topa of your energy like set up um, it's really important to set intentions with them as well and allow them to know what they can do or how to react in a certain situation so like if there's a being that steps through like what do they do to like make sure that it leaves like what can they do you have to tell them like and program them like how you want them to handle the situation because Otherwise, you're going to have to handle it or um, um, you're going to have to know that it's there. And so, like, it's easier to just have them handle it for you. And, like, you have to let them you have to let them know how to because, with, again, with what Rena says, with the law of free will, they cannot act for you um, unless you give them permission to. So you, they have to know what they can do. So, like, if there's a dark being and you haven't programmed them that slips through your shield one day, they can't do anything. They're just going to have to watch it. Like, they they, they can't do anything because um, you've not told them to or allowed them to because they it's free will. Yes. Same as asking your guides for help. Like, if you don't ask, they can't help you. They're waiting for you to ask. And it's the same with the guards. You re Like Macklin just explained it yeah. so well. Like you really have to tell them what they got to do. And I usually say something like, if anything gets too close or like spots me, even though I'm cloaked, ask them to, to leave. If they don't leave, make them leave. That's what I usually tell them. Yeah. Because even they deserve free will. That's why yeah. I don't immediately try to eliminate them. I just yeah. give them a, a choice. Yeah. Hey, Maglin. Sean? <clears throat> we going out to the camper later? <laughs> yeah, sure. Real quick. Okay. Okay. Does anybody would like to share anything else? I want to share something. Leg it up. <laughs> I need to share something, guys. Okay. I'm level uh, okay. 80 on Fortnite sure. now. It's a pretty good accomplishment. <laughs> I'm almost champion rank. Just thought I'd let everybody know. Thank you for you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Well, then I guess we can end it here. And this was a really great exchange. Thank you guys so much. For being here and showing up and also sharing and 
we will be talking in about four weeks again. Oh, wait, no, that's Christmas. Shit. <laughs> wait, what day would it be? Saturday. Oh, shit. It's the 23rd, so we, sh we should be good. <laughs> All right. So we'll be talking again on the 23rd. And um, the reason why I do these monthly exchanges on shields are because there are new people um, joining the server literally daily and we need to help everybody and we also I also try to like make sure that people are like have it in the back of their minds to keep working on them because at the very beginning that was the reason why I started it we talked about it and then it was forgotten pretty quick because you guys know how it is. The day goes like the days are could be so busy sometimes and you just forget. So I'm trying to keep this in everyone's awareness and um, just reminding them how important it is to work on those. You do an amazing job, Rina. These classes are oh, great. I love yeah. you. Thank you, guys. You guys make it great. We love you. Yeah, I love you guys. Love you too. I love you guys. All right. Well, everyone have a good day because I think most of you are you still have daytime over there because over here is nighttime now. It's literally yeah. 11 p.m. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, God. Robbie, you even an hour behind. No, what? Yeah. Why are you two hours behind? Because it's always on, yeah, uh, only hours. nine. I, I thought Turkey was only one hour away from us. Yes, all, almost 11 p.m. Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great day, great night. Yeah. I love you guys, and I hope to see you in four weeks. All right. All right. Love, you. love you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Farewell to you, my friend. <laughs> I don't even remember where that's from. That's crazy. Nice. Maybe fairies. <laughs>